So we have this uh, get user method inside of our user service implementation. And when this method is called and a find by email method is called on GPA user repository with provided email address, there might be situations when nothing is found and when user entity results to null, we throw user not found exception. So in our application, there might be code that depends on this exactly exception. And if any other exception is thrown, that part of the code is not ready. So we need to write a unit test that checks for this condition and makes sure that if user was not found in our database, if user entity results in null, this method will return exactly username not found exception. So let's do that. Let's create that unit test. So I will add a new test here. So it will start with add test and then we'll have final void test get user and an output underscore username not found exception like this. So what I will do first, I will use the line that we already have to to make a use of user repository mock object and instruct it to return now when a find by email method is called on user repository with any email address, with any username, it doesn't matter. All it matters is that when find by email is called on user repository, it returns now. And now when I call user service, the get user method, with any email address, it doesn't matter which email address, when I call it, the find by email address will return now. And this, according to the business logic in our method, this should throw a username not found exception. So uh, let's see what happens. I will run unit test. And I see that one method get user is passing, it's green, but the other method is failing because of an exception which is not handled. So let's handle this exception. And to handle exception message in JUnit 5 is slightly different than we used to do it in JUnit 4. Like in JUnit 4, we would use test and then we would provide that expected is equal to and then the class of the exception. Let me copy the class so that I don't make a typo class like this. But in JUnit 5, we need to do it in a slightly different way. We will need to use assertions again, and we will assert that this method throws an expected exception. So an exception type will be username not found exception class. And here we'll need to provide a piece of code which needs to be executed. So I'll delete this and I will provide a Lambda expression here, which can execute some code. So here's a very simple Lambda expression. And inside of this code, I will actually call the user service get user. So when this method is called, it should result an exception being thrown of username not found exception type. And if this method does not throw an exception of username not found exception type, then this method should fail. So let's delete this empty space. And let's try running this unit test now. And the bar is green, all is successful. So if I expand my unit test, I have both tests passing. So now I can be sure that if other places in my application, if other code expects username not found exception, when the get user method is called and the find by email method returns now, my code is working. And if someone goes into my code and then decides to throw another exception, let's say, for example, they will throw some other exception. Let's throw null pointer exception like this. So now if they attempt to build this application with Maven, our unit test will trigger and the build will fail. It will not let them build the application and deploy this application because there is code in our application. There are other places that expect this method, get user inside of user service to throw exactly username not found exception. So let's run this unit test and it fails. So now if I go back and I correct this error 
I put back an exception class which our code expects and for which we have unit tests testing this situation and save my changes. If I run this now in print tool suite, the test should pass. The bar is green and we are good to continue. So as long as we have this unit test in place, and as long as it, it is passing, we know that whenever find by email returns now, the username not found exception is thrown. And we can handle that exception and we can rely on that code. Okay, so let's continue. 